when three years ago, the customs department ventured on compiling in an audacious manner its business strategy for the three years 2017 to 2019. The whole plan did seem somewhat ambitious, even on account of the fact that, at the time, the Customs Department was experiencing a fairly new management structure at the helm. The business strategy 2017-2019 to was entitled Geared for New Challenges to demonstrate that the department was stepping up its initiatives towards new and ambitious objectives. The management team was meant to implement the 149 measures that were included therein. Naturally, the execution of these initiatives was meant to take place over and above both the day-to-day -day tasks that necessarily needed to be performed and the unplanned assignments that cropped up and needed to be accomplished out of necessity or upon superior orders. Three years down the line, here lies the proof of the pudding when, upon a frank and objective review of the 149 implementing measures, it transpires that 114 measures, 76.51%, have been completed. 16 measures, 10.73%, are being currently in the course of being implemented. And 19 measures, 12.75%, will roll on to the 2020-2022 business strategy. Excellence through innovation and empowerment outlines the vision that the renewed Customs Department intends to follow over the next three years. It is composed of nine chapters, each one reflecting key functional areas of the department. The purpose of the organization, namely the department's vision, core mission, intrinsic values and role. The department's legal arrangements, revenue collection and other financial targets. The continuous way forward toward a customer-centric organization. Alignment of resources with the capabilities of the organization. Enhancing the ability to identify risk, detect non-compliance and carry out enforcement. International obligations and the initiatives. The department's communication strategy the department's corporate social responsibility policy. These functional areas are supported by implementing measures and through their achievement, the customs department aims at improving its efficiency gain levels by eight to 10%. This would translate into an increase in revenue collection in line with the projected economic growth, the adoption of more security and safety measures, the enhancement of the existing trade facilitation measures in favor of compliant traders and the introduction of new instruments to further foster legitimate economic activity, more efficiency in the detection of infringements, customers' satisfaction, and a striking career stream to customs employees that inspires job satisfaction. The new business strategy will aim for even higher targets that will now transform the customs department from an improved department to a department of excellence. On average, we have 6.5 measures a month to implement, or to break it down even further, three implementing measures every fortnight. By way of all these measures, the customs department is now aiming for excellence through empowerment and innovation. Executing these measures together and with enthusiasm guarantees successful accomplishment of our 2020-2022 business strategy. For the first time, the Customs Department is presenting its vision statement that outlines our desired future position, our purpose, and our overall intentions. The new vision statement of Malta's Customs Department is, we will be a customs organization that is resilient and dynamic pursuing the latest technological developments to fulfill our roles, exceeding expectations. This we will do by committing ourselves to empower our human resources, consolidating individual honor and corporate prestige, while proactively adopting measures towards excellence. The department's mission statement cascades from the aforementioned vision statement and delineates our obligations and commitment that are 
to strengthen the department's position in fulfilling its role of promoting legitimate trade while protecting the citizen, the territory, and its fiscal interests today and in the future. In full harmony with its vision and mission statements, the Customs Department believes in performing our work with professionality in a spirit of integrity, honesty, impartiality, and transparency, collaborative teamwork, and respectful communication with our customers and stakeholders, and ongoing innovation and creative solutions aimed at continuous improvement toward a service of excellence. Customs remains a vital element to the government's revenue collection structure. The department continues to embrace also the responsibilities of a multifunctional border control agency with a focus on trade facilitation on the one hand and security and safety responsibilities on the other. Moreover, Customs protects the European Union's own resources, effects controls and surveillance for security purposes, meets public health requirements regarding imported goods and ensures compliance with environmental legislation. To this effect, the Customs Department will work relentlessly to give its customers the most compelling quality service and to make a significant contribution to the economic prosperity of Malta. Therefore, the Department will put into action a program that will focus on innovation, inspire and empower its employees, strive to implement measures that provide a staff retention policy by promoting a sound career path which offers job satisfaction, ensure that everyone is a component of a capable, flexible and result-orientated organization, and sustain its employees so that they can provide excellent service toward the department's customers. The Customs Department is committing itself to implement every measure in this business strategy, both in time and in content. The Department will enact a Business Strategy Monitoring Board that will take continuous stock of the progress achieved in the implementation of the measures contemplated. The main thrust of this business strategy is customer and employee satisfaction. In this vein, one of the initial measures that will be implemented under this new business strategy will be the publishing of a quality service charter outlining the commitments, obligations and mutual expectations of both the department and its customers. Towards the end of the business strategy period, the department will commission an independent audit firm with the specific assignment to provide a detailed deliverability assessment of this strategy. Thus, both the implementation and the effectiveness of every measure will be monitored and assessed. It is only through such commitments and self-regulating measures that we will reach excellence through innovation and empowerment.